All right, we're gonna move on to the next thing. So that's, those medicines are, are great for developing self-awareness, but I understand not everyone can go to the Amazon or South America and work with medicine. So I wanna give you something that can really help you with um, your self-awareness. And that is called uh, the MBTI, the Myers-Briggs Personality Test. Has anyone heard of MBTI? Yeah, cool, I love that stuff. It's, it's um, Myers-Briggs Personality Type Indicator, MBTI. It's based on Carl Jung's 16 personalities. There are eight cognitive functions. And it's a way to figure out what your natural strengths are, your, your natural weaknesses, your blind spots, what your preferences are, your personal, um, your personal preferences, and, and yeah, it's not perfect, but if you're able to, to study it and find out what works for you, it's a really good, like I would say, blue map or indicator to figure out what it is that you wanna do. So, you know, I've been able to use that. Once I figured out my values and developed self-awareness, I'm like, yeah, that's why I don't wanna, it, I'll give you an example, I'm an, I'm an intuitive feeling, that's, that's intuition and feeling, those are two dominant functions. So that is very different from someone who's like an intuitive thinker, whereas you know, I value personal relationships and I need to have meaningful work, whereas someone who's just a thinker type, they just want logic and the truth at all costs and, and that's what they're about. So it's, it's help, it helped me figure out you know, what my values are and how I wanna implement those values into my business. So I highly recommend if you, um, if you can, just go to 16personalities.com, it's a free test. And, uh, and yeah, that's, that's really helpful to to do, and then look up the Kersey temperament because he takes that and he um, he uh, he divides them up and further goes into it. And then the Enneagram, that's another personality test which you can take. Now, none of these are perfect by by themselves, but when you take enough of them, it's kind of like putting together a jigsaw puzzle of of what of who you are, and that's where the real power comes comes into. So take these tests: sixteenpersonalities.com, the Kersey temperament, and then the Enneagram test. Those are a good starting point. So a couple months ago, I got some new ink on me. My homegirl Linda over here hooked it up. Uh, on the top of this is a, a term called ikigai, which is a Japanese term meaning uh, reason for being. And it's a concept that they believe that every person here on earth has a purpose. And they did a TED talk on the people of Okinawa, and it's a blue zone. It's where people live for like hundreds of years. You know, I think Greece is another uh, blue zone. Ecuador is another one, Bill Obama was actually there. And they, they, they want to know why do people live for so long. It's because they're doing fulfilling work. They have growth, they have relationships. And, and, that's, and that's this year, that is something that I was able to find and, and agree with that, you know, I've, I finally found a purpose with, with, with my online businesses. I, I've been able to find meaningful work. And, and that's a huge thing. And, and the, the other part of the tattoo is a compass with a mandala in the middle is the heart. And I'm a big believer that if you want to find your purpose, you need to go and follow your heart. And you do that by being in solitude, doing things that you enjoy, and, and just listen to yourself and not giving a shit what other people, what other people tell you. So that's a big thing for me, and, I, and that's why I wanted to share these things with you guys today, to just continue on this entrepreneurial journey, because like I said, it's not a, long, it's not a short-term thing, it's a long-term thing, and, and, it's, and it's awesome to be able to do this journey. The other thing I want to leave you guys with is with a favorite quote, and that is, uh, I think Pablo Picasso said it, and he said, uh, the meaning of life is to find your gift, and the purpose of life is to give it away. And I, I wanna compare that to the entrepreneurial journey because that's what, that's what it is, it's a journey into the heart. It's looking inside and finding what your gifts are, your talents, your hobbies and passions, and how you're gonna find that and hone it, and then give that back to the world and share it. And I think people forget that, they get wrapped up in just chasing the money, but you know what, if you really wanna make the entrepreneurial work and make it long term, Follow your heart and find out what your gift is and then give it back. And that's where you will find true happiness and profitability. Profitability. Thank you, guys. All right. <clears throat> uh, thanks, Chris, for sharing that and being so open uh, about his journey. Um, I think the fact that all of you guys are here in Chiang Mai, you guys are already at least on step one, where you escaped that rat race, now you're here. Uh, hopefully, all of you guys are also at step two, where you have some type of business where it's allowing you to stay here, and it gives you the money to travel and be able to find your purpose and passion, even if it's not what you want to do for the rest of your life. <clears throat> so, um, if anyone has any questions, um, feel free to kind of just raise your hand and direct them at Chris. Right. Can you share? Sure. Um, I went 
Okay, the question was, uh, any breakthroughs that I had during my first ceremony? For me, it was, um, I went for self, for self love and, and acceptance. You know, I, I, growing up, for me personally, growing up as the Asian American in the 80s, it was very, uh, it was very hard. You know, there's racism and bullying and, and I never had that confidence in me and, and, the, and the self love. So for me, that's what I went for. And I was able to really find that self acceptance to be kinder and gentler to myself. And, um, you know, I remember the, the shamans when they're singing to the, the egos, I felt like they were singing to my heart. And it was like, wow, that's, that's how I should be. I should be nice to myself. I shouldn't, because a lot of us, we have, not a lot of us, but some people we have, like me, we used to have uh, negative self-talk and, and self-living beliefs. And that's huge. That's, that'll limit your success. That'll limit your enjoyment in life. And, and for me, I always had a negative voice going on inside my head. So the breakthroughs for me for that first retreat was for sure getting rid of those, those demons and, and just having a nice kind of voice inside my head. Anyone else? Can you personality test Sure. Sure, the personality test, they are 16personalities.com, and that is based on the Myers-Briggs Personality Type Indicator, MBTI. That's like a five-minute free test. Highly recommend that. The other one is uh, the, the Kearsey Temperament. So after you take the MBTI, just go to Kearsey Temperament. You don't have to take a test. You just plug in what your type is, and it'll help build upon that, because that's really good for like career advice and, and, and your values and developing self-awareness for that. The other one is the Enneagram. That's E N N E A G R A M. My personality. I'm an ENFJ, so I'm an intuitive feeler. I, I, like I said, I need to be around people, human connection. I'm very sensitive to emotions, feelings, and uh, yeah, it's like, like I'm the opposite of like someone who's like a robot who just talks numbers and very, you know, I'm, I'm the complete opposite. What's going on back there? That's a good question. So his question was, uh, he does five things at, at a time for his morning ritual, and how do you how do you come up with your own routine and, and build upon it? So yeah, it's, it took me like two years to, to try different things. So starting out, I would say, start with like three different, start with a routine of like three tasks, but don't do them all at once. Do them one at a time, and then next one, and the next one. So, so have like a, a three-step morning routine, and give that like a 30-day trial and see how that feels to you. If it's not working, then feel free to add one step on top of it, but don't just try like eight things, because that, that can be out of control. So just slowly build a foundation, a routine that works for you. I like to do it like every day, to be honest. Um, in the beginning, I kind of slacked off on weekends, but now it's like, I, I just know how much better I feel from doing it, so that's why it's not really. So like some days I don't do all the steps, I might just do like two or three, like juicy meditation, like my two, Go to that. I definitely do this, but like other things, sometimes I might skip affirmations or whatever. But yeah, it's it's pretty it's pretty consistent. How does that mean like identifying your Cool. Um, so his question was, how do you use how do you apply the Myers Briggs to your to your business or your your strength? So it's, it's just having that awareness because a lot of times we don't, for me at least, I didn't know what I was good at. I didn't know what my natural gifts were. So once I read that and I looked at the things that clicked, I was like, oh, I'm good with people. I'm good with relationships. Maybe I don't need to do dropshipping. Maybe I can go into coaching. So that's how I was able to um, figure out because it helps you also with your values, which is a big thing, you know, your big picture, your, your clouds. What is it that you want to do with your life and your business? If you don't have an idea, I think that that's like, that's for a lot of us, you know, we don't know what our, our big five, 10 year goal is unless we actually take the time to know ourselves. So with the Myers-Briggs, it can really help you figure out like what your top three values are and what your three top beliefs are. So for example, my beliefs when I was in New York, I just want money, I don't give a shit, I just want money. But now I'm like, no, I don't just want money. Like I want to be able to make an impact on society. I need meaningful work. And like I said, for if you look on the the, the Kearsey temperament, ENFJs and intuitive feelers, we fall under the um, the idealist. We're the, under the idealist subcategory. So these are people like your coaches, your uh, your Gandhi's, your you know your your natural born public leaders. These are people who really want to change the world. So for me, I was like, yeah, of course I want to like do something meaningful. So like I said, there's, there's nothing wrong with other temperaments, but like if you're just an, uh, a thinker, you just care about like Elon Musk, he's an INTJ, I think. So he's a mastermind. So he's really good at building these huge systems, but like 
I'm sure he's gotten better with people skills, but I'm sure he's probably like an awkward dude growing up, you know? Like, <laughs> I'm not stereotyping, you know, but I was a computer science my major myself, but you know, so people with really good technological skills who are thinkers on the MBTI, they're naturally not gonna have good people skills. So it's, I'm not trying to put anyone down, I'm just saying, just know your self-awareness. Like Gary Vee says, know your strengths, know your weaknesses, and with that way you can capitalize on your strengths. Does that make sense? Cool. Anyone else? Time for maybe one or two more questions. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, that's. I'm glad you brought that up. That's a tricky question because it sucks because the laws here are obviously very strict and. Um, there's a place if you look on on Facebook. There's Yin Portal. I've never worked with the medicine there, but if if you do feel called, check out Yin Portal on Facebook. Um, you can see what they have to offer. Uh, that's a good starting point. You know, if you go to Bali, supposedly there's underground ayahuasca ceremonies, but I guess it, it sucks because it's, it's risky. I went to Pai two weeks ago and I pretty much had to put my life on the line because I wanted to get mushrooms. And it's, it's, it's doable, but it is always a risk. So just be aware of that. Um, also, and did I answer your question? Yeah. Cool. I have one other thing. If you want more information, I have a website, uh, Christopher W. Chu. I have a ayahuasca 25 beginners tips PDF. I, I document all my uh, the retreats I've been to. I've taken video vlogs. I need to upload them, but I have a couple of videos on there. So if you want information like which specific retreats I went to, which shamans I worked with, that's a big thing. And, and that's the thing you we want to be careful with the shamans you work with. Also, my morning rituals up there, and I have a Udemy course if you want like weightlifting and nutrition information for free as well. Thank you. Big thank you to Chris for coming out and speaking so openly about you know these very sensitive topics.